All right, guys, so right now I want to take this opportunity to update you guys on what way I'm changing my training now that my cut has started. Now, a lot of you guys are asking me, am I still going to be training every single day of the week? Am I still going to be training to failure? What way is my training going to change? And right now, I want to get you guys updated so that whenever you see my videos, it's not going to be confusing to you. However, there's not these big major changes happening in my training. I think it's very important that you realize the training that you've done in your bulk, which has built your muscle, that you continue to do that throughout your cut because you're still wanting to at least preserve your muscle, if not even still build a lot of muscle. So for you guys to know what way I was training, I was doing a five day split. I didn't take any days off throughout my bulk and I did a leg workout, a chest, back, shoulder, arm workout. I'm going to be doing that the exact same way in my cut. I didn't take any days off. I'm going to be doing that the exact same way on my cut as well. Now, if I feel like I really need a day off, and that's the same way I approach to my bulk. I, I, I always told myself if I feel like I really need a day off, I'm going to take it off. However, that didn't happen and it probably won't happen on my cut. So I'm working off of a five day split and it will just continually repeat itself every single time the split is done. So whenever I did my leg day, as you guys saw, I like to do and I like to throw in an extra few muscle groups. So I did legs and calves on the first day. On my second day, I did chest, triceps and abs. So the leg day will be staying the same on my cut. I'll still be doing seven exercises for legs, two exercises for calves. However, whenever it comes to chest day, I'm only going to be doing seven exercises for chest. Now that's the really takeaway because whenever you're doing a lot of frequency, whenever I'm doing triceps at the end of my chest workout, I keep in mind I'm going to be training arms on that fifth day. So if I'm training triceps on my chest day, I'm also having a shoulder day, which the triceps are going to be being worked. Obviously, whenever you're bulking, you're in a, in a calorie surplus. Well, I'm going to be well fueled and recovered for my next workout. However, whenever you start to throw in more cardio, you start decreasing your calories. It really takes longer for the muscle to recover. So I obviously want to get the most out of the muscle. So I don't want to be constantly depleting myself and not giving myself an opportunity to recover. So that's why I'm not going to be training as frequently. However, I still want to be burning up a lot of calories and I still want to be doing a lot of you know, for me, I love doing a lot of volume, so I'm going to still do that because I think that's the best way to train. So that's why I'm still doing the seven exercises for chest. Now, whenever it comes to back day, I was doing biceps and forearms on back day. I'm taking out both my biceps and forearms. Now, you're probably thinking, why the fuck is he taking out his forearms? You know, because obviously, whenever I'm doing my arm day, I'm still training my biceps and triceps, even though I'm taking it out of my chest and back day. But for me, I'm going to be doing so many different exercises which involve grip strength. So that's really going to help still build your forearm muscles and still work them. So that's why I'm taking forearms out of it. Now, once I go back into bulking, I'll definitely be adding my forearms back in. Now, whenever it comes to arm day, I used to do abs as well on my arm day. I'm going to take my abs out. However, that doesn't mean I'm not training abs. I'm going to make sure at least once every five days that I train, I do two exercises exercises four sets for abs now that's going to be done on one day however obviously with di different days i'm going to have more time than last time so that's going to give me the opportunity to just fit it in whenever i want so that's how the training is going to be it's not changing that much i'm just taking out the frequent the high frequency that i was doing and i'm also taking out those extra muscle groups that i may have been thrown in on those extra days now as far as cardio goes i'm only at the start of my cut so there's no need to throw in an insane amount of cardio. Right now, it's just about reducing the calories, burning those extra calories. So I'm going to be throwing in slightly extra cardio. And for, for the most part, and right now, what I'm going to be doing is one session of moderate cardio for 30 minutes on the cross trainer. Now, I just did that today and I found it was very good. So I know that that's going to be good. So I'm going to stick to that throughout my cut. Now, once I find over a period of time that I'm not reducing the, the amount of weight that I want to and reduce the amount of fat that I want to, then I'll start to add in more if I find that that's necessary. But right now, 30 minutes is all I'm going to be doing for my first session of cardio. 
for my second session of cardio, I'm going to be doing high intensity interval training and I'm going to be doing that in the treadmill. So I'm going to do a 20 second sprint all out, meaning that I'm going 100% as fast as I can at the highest level I can. And then I'm going to turn the treadmill down and I'm going to jog for the next 40 seconds. Now this isn't like a fast paced jog, this is a nice slow jog to let myself recover but still keep my heart rate high and then I'll be going straight into it again another 20 second sprint and then another 40 second jog I'm going to be doing that five times that means that's a really low amount of time that I'm on the treadmill keep in mind I do not like doing fucking cardio especially not in the gym but since it's so dark outside and so wet outside it's going to be difficult for me to do my cardio outside so I'm going to have to do it indoors but by doing that high intensity interval training it helps me keep myself burning those high calories obviously if you were to do a five minute walk compared to that five minute high intensity interval training you're burning so much so much more calories so that's why I'm going to be doing it so that's how my training is going to be that's why my cut my that's how my training is going to be and that's how my cardio is going to currently be now over time my cardio will change however my workout will stay pretty much the same i'll just use a variety of exercises and rep ranges to really keep changing it up on the muscles however i do still want to keep the high volume and i will be testing testing my strength throughout my cut I'm not the type of person who sort of scales back. I still like to go 100%, still going to be training to failure, still going to be doing high volume, and I'm going to keep you all updated. I'm also going to make a video talking about what way my diet's going to change, so stay tuned for that, guys. But for now, that's me out. So I actually forgot to mention, I didn't go into detail about my shoulder day and how my shoulder day is changing, and that's the one that's actually changing the most. So I used to do shoulder seven exercises for shoulders, two exercises for traps, and two exercises for calves on my shoulder day. I'm gonna be taking out the calf training and just sticking to one calf session per, per five days and doing that on my leg day. However, I find that for me personally, doing seven exercises for shoulders is actually quite a lot whilst bulking. It does put quite a strain on my shoulders. So whilst I'm gonna be cutting, I've decided to cut back on the volume for shoulders. So I'll only be doing four exercises for my shoulders and I'll be doing three exercises for my traps on that day. So it sticks to seven exercises on that particular day. However, I'll not be doing the seven exercises for shoulders plus the two exercises for traps. So that's just a wee quick update.